This is the M6A1 welded hull heavy tank. I guess that's opposed to a cast hull. <laughs> this is side silhouette with the M6 turret antenna. This is a gun. Front idler, tensioner, trucks, four trucks, one, two, three, four. Rear drive sprocket. This is like tapering engine hull back. It starts out thick here and then it gets thinner as it goes forward. So Amy and I had the honor of actually meeting this tank at Aberdeen um, like four years ago, three years ago when it was there. And there is a picture of I took of her in front of it. And um, she was standing here with her arm on it. I'll get back to that later. Side view. Here's the overhead view. It's a fair sized tank. 20 foot scale. She's over 20 feet. Just over. And real thick and real high. Here's the hatch. Just one hatch. I presume the commander's hatch. Not a lot on vision blocks around it. Antenna mount. Mantle it. Is appear to be hatches here and here. Appears to be a uh, like a machine gun mount here, maybe. And maybe a driver is here. Engine deck. There's an axe here. You got grills. Engine hatches. Exhaust pipe vent. Is the front? It's a track. The Aberdeen example did not have the track, the tracks. And Amy, who's about I don't know, five five, she comes up to about like right here. So this tank was enormous. Okay, periscope, um, bulge. Antenna mount, a mounting for something, maybe lenses of some type. Headlight, headlight, eyelets, or ring mounts, rear deck, ring mounts, ring mounts, rear light, rear light. Uh oh, suture, no good, I don't like that. <laughs> it seems to be like a rear. Uh, vision block <laughs> sutured into the tank that's not good rear periscope again antenna mounting of some type this is a raw sketch so here's Amy she's dancing Maybe she's a little taller than that, but this is a rough outline. The tank is called the M6A1. And I've heard on WOT the term T1. I don't know if it's a reference to the tank itself, but certainly to the track. The enigma about this tank is that missing track. It drives me crazy because what I found out in the study of this type of vehicle is that we were building tracks and tank components interchangeable with with British equipment. We were building a lot of equipment for the British which we didn't use. So for example the T-14 assault tank used the T-1 track and the United States would use the T-1 track on our M6s. So I think that's where the nomenclature gets a little weird. I think, and um, I think the M6 designation means that in some way she must have been a production line tank. But then, um, and she's referred to as M6. 
tank, heavy tank. But she has, she's still like going through the, the traces at Aberdeen in the 1940s. Uh, so that would say she's a T6A1, right? No. Or I don't know. But. So one day I was at Aberdeen and I told Dr. Willie Matwater that it was raining outside in a letter when I visited the M6 and he wrote back and he said, well, why don't you come back again another time when it's not raining? <laughs> that was in a postcard. So, And then I, I drew little rivulets. I'm going to draw some rivulets. Uh oh. My pen is um, revolting right now, so forget it. I have to let the imagination get the better of me. And here is a darling of WOT the unforgettable and the eternal T1 or M6 heavy. You decide.